visualize a more beautiful world. Relax, get comfortable. We're going to start with a few deep breaths. Breathe in through your nose, hold, exhale through your mouth. Let's take our first deep breath. Breathe in deeply. And exhale. Now as you breathe in, imagine a white light coming into you, into your being, bringing love, peace, and joy. And as you exhale, exhale any stress and anxiety. Let's breathe in white light. And exhale stress. Breathe in white light of love and peace. Exhale anxiety. Breathe in love. Exhale any sadness. Breathe in joy. Exhale any unhappiness. Take in one final deep breath, breathe in the light. And exhale stress. Now imagine yourself in a beautiful garden. There's a stream in the background. There's a little water falling. You can see trees and flowers and grass, beautiful blue sky, maybe just a few patches of clouds. Maybe you see some animals in the distance. Take a moment to imagine this beautiful garden and what else you might see. Allow yourself to further relax in this garden. We're going to be entering a more beautiful world. At the core of a more beautiful world has to be love. Love for yourself, love for others, love for animals, the creation, 
love for your creator. Take a moment to think of all the people in your life who you love. Think of any pets you may love or have loved. Think of a time in your life when you felt immense love. Imagine for a moment what the world would look like if there was more love in it. Obviously what comes to mind should be a world without hatred, a world without prejudice, and ultimately a world without fear. For the opposite of love actually is fear. Fear is at the root of many other social ills, such as hatred and prejudice. Imagine a world free of those things and filled with more love. Imagine what that would look like for a moment. Imagine how love could change many tense situations around the world. People could just love each other, truly love each other. A more beautiful world would have peace in it. He starts with inner peace, peace within yourself, within your mind, and flows outward into your community, your nation, and your world. If there was peace in the world there wouldn't be war, violence, crime. Imagine a world without war or violence, without crime, without any other thing that's the opposite of peace. Just imagine that for a moment.
nations wouldn't be striving with other nations. No more civil wars. You can walk down the streets in peace, in harmony, knowing that you're safe. Imagine a more peaceful world for yourself, for your children, and all children. For those in your family, your community. Imagine what peace would be like, would feel like. Every home, every community could experience peace. Every nation could experience peace. Take that in for a moment. Let's take a moment to send love and peace within our hearts to the world. Think of a situation in the world, whether it's in your own community, nation, or another part of the world, where there's not peace, where there's not as much love as there should be. And send love and peace right now to those areas. Let's take a moment and send love and peace within your being. A more beautiful world would be filled with abundance. No hunger, no poverty, no lack of want. Everybody would have what they need, not just to survive, but to thrive. Anything they may need to live a more happy, fulfilled life, whether it's money, resources, food, even entertainment, they are filled with abundance. All the clothing, energy nets, needs are met, Housing needs are met. Abundance in every material way. Also abundance spiritually and emotionally. Abundance is everywhere in a more beautiful world. Take a moment to imagine what abundance would look like for you, for your family, your community, in your world right now. We need to move from a world of scarcity where we're fighting over resources, where it doesn't feel like there's enough, 
to a world of abundance, that post-scarcity world that we all want, we all desire, and we all know that's ultimately possible. A beautiful world will have abundance. Take a moment to send the vibration of abundance anywhere in the world where they're now experiencing a lack of abundance. Where would this be? Send the vibration of abundance right now within your being. A more beautiful world would be filled with joy and happiness. All issues of depression, anxiety, stress, and just sadness would be gone. People could be filled with joy and happiness within their being, within their families and communities. It could feel safe to live a more fulfilled life, a more happy life. Imagine that right now. What would a more happy life look like for you and your family? What would a more happy and joyful life look like in your community? What would greater happiness and joy look like in your nation? What would it look like in the world if there was more happiness and joy? Part of what would help us to experience more happiness and joy is to simply slow down at times, to be grateful for what we have, to look at the blessings in our life, our family, our resources, our pets, whatever it may be, to take time to really be mindful of what we already possess. Slow down from the fast paced life that we've all been living just for a few moments every so often and take in what's good in our life.
a more beautiful world will be filled with freedom. Freedom to be what you want to be, do what you want to do, as long as you're not harming others. To experience life on your terms, to have the ability to think and to be in this world. The biggest element of freedom is the ability to become fully in tune with my authentic self, with no barriers. All the options are open to develop who I am, who I want to be, who I know I should be, to become a fully actualized human being is the greatest freedom. What if everybody in the world had the opportunity to do this? Could read whatever book they want, can listen to whatever they want that may help them grow. To be able to just take time to ponder what matters in life. True freedom. Imagine true freedom coming to the world. more beautiful world would be filled with greater compassion. Compassion for those who may have physical needs, the homeless, the poor. Compassion for those that struggle emotionally. Maybe they have depression or anxiety, but to have compassion for them Compassion for those that are spiritually struggling. Because as you show greater compassion, we can help to heal the world. Sometimes it just starts with knowing that someone cares. That's the first place to start. Imagine what the world would look like if there was more compassion your nation and community would look like with more compassion. Has there ever been a time in your life when you felt compassion coming from someone others? Felt compassion coming from another person? Is there a time in your life when you know you showed compassion? What did that feel like? Part of building a more beautiful world starts when we all cooperate together. 
There's a greater mutual cooperation among peoples. You can't be coerced into creating a better world. You can't be forced. It's got to come from a heart of love and cooperation. Imagine what it would look like if people could cooperate with each other as individuals, in families, in communities, nations with other nations. Other social institutions cooperating. What would that look like? Maybe looking for ways to create more cooperative networks where we live, where we work, where we go to school, where we send our children to be educated. These cooperative networks can be actual cooperatives themselves, whether housing cooperative, or educational cooperative, working cooperatives, business cooperatives, they can simply be creating a cooperative network within a traditional neighborhood or business, school. Look for ways to cooperate more, whether in a formal cooperative setting or an informal one. Cooperation is the key to building a better world. How can you be more cooperative in your life to help build a better world? Maybe as simple as trying to be more agreeable in your family. Take a moment to think of ways you may be more cooperative in the world around you. The more beautiful world will be built on strong and cherished families. The cornerstone of society is the family unit. And it's unfortunate that so many families are broken and torn. And we all know deep down that if we want to heal our world, heal our nation, heal our communities, heal ourselves. We have to build stronger families. We have to be willing to forgive, we have to be willing to put in greater effort to make our families work. To realize that Simply breaking up the family and trying to create some new family in most cases isn't going to work. In most cases, you're going to be better off taking the family you currently have 
and finding a way to cherish it and to make it strong. Helping others to develop stronger families. Encouraging families to stay together and love one another. Children need strong families. And all of us need strong families. The family is the core of creating a more beautiful world. Maybe your family isn't what you want it to be or what you know it should be. But what can you do to make your family life just a little bit better or someone else's family life? Take a moment to think about that. What can I do to make my family or other families stronger and more cherished? Another important element of a more beautiful world is vibrant communities. How can I be someone that helps to create a more vibrant community? Sometimes it's a matter of starting something in your community. Sometimes it's just a matter of finding what's already there in your community and participating could be community outreach projects that could simply be celebrating with your community on holidays many communities have special events going on go there send your energy to make it a more vibrant community bring a smile bring your joy to events in your community. Find ways to build more vibrant communities. Part of creating a more beautiful world is simply believing that it's possible. If we can believe that it's possible, we can achieve a more beautiful world. It may not be easy. It may not be as quick as we'd like it to be. But it is possible, a step at a time, believing, taking the energy within our being and moving it in that direction of creating a more beautiful world for ourselves, for our families, for those we love, and for the world around us. Believe and focus your energy in creating a more beautiful world. Allow your heart to be open to a more beautiful world. An important part of creating a more beautiful world is simply taking action. It could be volunteering, it could be donating our time, our resources. It could be with starting with small things. Smile more. You go to the store, smile at others around you, customers, the checker. 
those box bagging your groceries. Say a, a kind word. Just stretch yourself a little bit to show greater kindness and love in any way that you can. Take action, even if it's small. Oftentimes, small actions building upon what each other is what ultimately can change the world. A step at a time. Simple as a glass of cold water to someone who's thirsty. Find ways to love. A more beautiful world is possible and is becoming possible because I believe there's a spiritual awakening going on and we all can play a part in this spiritual awakening. There's many different directions, many different faces and ways that this spiritual awakening can go on. Part of the spiritual awakening is exposing things we didn't know were there. Seeing the truth and the reality in the world that we live in. Things aren't always what we thought they were. But part of the spiritual awakening is realizing that we have the spiritual power to make things better than they are, to really create the world we want, the world we deserve, the world our children deserve. Find a way to tap into the spiritual awakening that's going on around you. Bring forth the love and the light and dispel the darkness. We started in a garden in this meditation and the creation story says that everything started off perfect in a garden. Well now to create a more beautiful world we need to return to the garden and recreate a garden, a global garden filled with greater love, greater peace, joy and happiness, abundance. We need to learn to cooperate with each other, to believe it's possible, to take action. And in this, the global garden, we can make change. We can plant spiritual flowers and fruit and trees. We can create a world of abundance for everyone. We can find the solutions to any problem that we may have. Cleaner sources of energy that are perfected. Protecting habitats having a cleaner planet to begin with. Whatever it is, we need to start creating this garden in the world, one seed at a time. And it starts with you, it starts with me.
Now let's take in one final deep breath. Breathe in love and light through your nose. And exhale all darkness through your mouth. And when you're ready, you may open your eyes.